Frank Ski, Jade Nova, JR. Jade Nova is out finishing up her tour. She will be back tomorrow. Yep. Mañana. She'll be back mañana. All right. Um, last night. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. I was in the hospital last night. Okay. Of course, wifey had the baby. Right. But I had to bootleg hook up my laptop to the TV. What? So I could watch HBO and watch Leaving Netherland. Part one aired last night for two hours on HBO. It was kind of like the super documentary. It was different than the R. Kelly documentary. This is the Michael Jackson one. It was different than the R. Kelly documentary because in the R. Kelly documentary, they had different things about different people. And it was kind of like you would see in the R. Kelly thing, two or three or four people being interviewed all at the same time. In this Michael Jackson documentary, it was more so them talking. It started with them talking to the victim and the victim just talking. Yeah, and then the family. There was no interaction between. Remember how the R. Kelly documentary, they had the uh, psychologist on there? Yeah. Like kind of like narrating what the person was going through, whatever their mental state. They didn't do that last night on HBO. First person perspective, only one person perspective. And they had the perspective of the moms. And that was probably the hardest thing for me to listen to last night. Listening to these mothers were basically, it felt like they were giving up their kids to fame. It was a little too wild for me. That's exactly what it felt like. Even on CNN site, you can hear uh, what was going on. He told me if they ever found out what we were doing, he and I would go to jail for the rest of our lives. Secrets will eat you up. You feel so alone. I want to be able to speak the truth as loud as I had to speak the lie for so long. Now, the interesting and most difficult part for me listening last night. What is it? And we're going to talk about this coming up at 8 o'clock this morning. Was the graphic details of the sexual acts that were being done. I mean, they were it was it was almost like listening to porn. It, was, it wasn't it was, almost like it, it might as well have been. It was that bad. I mean, it was that bad. And they really did a job on explaining from the kids' perspective, who are now grown men, obviously, from their perspective, showing um, in their perspective how they said Michael Jackson manipulated the situation. And they showed, like, they gave so much credibility to the kids because they were able to really describe room by room in the house but, and room by room where they would have these sexual activities you, you know at. The, you know the thing though R. Kelly is still here right Michael Jackson is not here to say anything about any of these allegations that these folks are throwing at him and the credibility if you ask me of, uh, of some of the quote unquote victims here it seems that they've changed their story over years where have you been well the comments are overwhelmingly in support of Michael Jackson and a lot of people were blasting Oprah Winfrey, because after tonight's episode, Oprah is going to actually have a sit down conversation with the two guys who are depicted in the story and an audience. And people are mad saying that Oprah should not be doing this. Oprah's being an opportunist. Michael Jackson, yeah. Uh, So it's going to be very interesting. Part two comes on tonight, 8 o'clock on HBO. Uh, it's called uh, Leaving Netherland. Never. Ne- uh, why do I keep saying Netherland? Neverland Ranch. The Michael Jackson's why do I keep Neverland, saying Neverland Ranch. Yes, thank you. Yeah, well, we're, we're leaving that one. Listen, Jordan Woods has gotten dragged all over the internet over the over the past week. We all know about the situation with Tristan Thompson. She spent time at night, and, uh, you know, she, she's she been murdered. You can't go on Instagram. You can't go on Twitter without people giving her a hard time. Well, on Friday, she broke her silence. She was on Jada Pinkett Smith's Red Table Talk on Facebook to basically give her side of the story. And she's close friends. She grew up around Will Smith and the entire family. And she thought that she had an opportunity to explain what happened. This is a a quick summation right here. I was never blacked out. But there was alcohol involved. There was alcohol involved. So how drunk were you? I was drunk. Okay. I was not tipsy. I was drunk. Right. But I was not beyond the point of recollection. I know where I was. But on the way out, he did kiss me. No. And what do you mean by kiss? It's just no passion, no nothing on the way out. He just kissed me and... and like a tongue kiss? Like a peck on the lips? Peck on the... Like a... No, it, it was like a kiss on the lips. But no tongue kiss, no making out. 
Got it. Nothing. And I don't think that he's wrong either because I allowed myself to be in that position. And when alcohol is involved, people make, you know, dumb moves or people get caught up in the moment or who knows. Right. Were you shocked? I didn't know how to feel. Mm. It's wild. Uh, it- Khloe Kardashian didn't help the situation at first, basically called her a liar and Mm -hmm. this is your fault and you broke up my family. And then not too long after that, she then tweeted, she changed up her own story. She goes, this has been an awful week and I know everyone is sick of hearing about it. She's a roller coaster of emotions. It's very painful. And then she basically said, it's Mm -hmm. Tristan's fault. You're not the reason that my family broke up. But you can't wheel all that back in. What you said has been said. People have their opinions about Jordan Woods and what's the what's the what's the major issue here? Well I think there was another part too where she talked about sitting next to him with her legs underneath his and, and over on top of his. I mean come on, you don't do that. You don't well she admitted she was drunk. She said that she was not tipsy. She was drunk. Everybody and was drunk. You make bad decisions when you're drunk. Yeah. But I'm very interested to know what happens to Jordan Woods now in her career. She was Jenner, Kylie Jenner's best friend. And what happens now? Is she now elevated? Is she going to be selling eyelashes? Or the family's I think, basically I think it's, communicating. I, I personally think it's all fake. You think this is all for the television show? It, the reason why, because when you go to those type of parties, okay, okay, this this is just for people to understand. When you go to those celebrity type of parties, especially when you go to those celebrity type of parties, and it's traditionally um, not all black folk, okay, people are very open and free. People are kissing each other. Oh, women kiss each other at these parties. They oh wow, they hug. They they're like we, wait, very wait, wait, freestyle. Let's, let's go back to the women part. Why? No, we, let's not. But why, people are just freestyle. Why are we isolating? Why are we isolating? Look, Nina's women? like, no, no, no. Yes, I've been to those parties. Yes, I've walked in those parties and seeing people. They're not kissing each other like making out kissing. They're just walking up, hey girl, and kiss each other and hug it. It's, it's very open. You know what? It's very, them parties are very super open. Yeah, Nina, what you saying? What you saying? I said that's a different situation. That's Chloe's baby daddy who she wants to marry. You oh you never get a pass to kiss someone's baby daddy who they hope to be with. Oh. You know, women always, uh, and, women. In Hollywood. Nah, women always get a, 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 a bad rap. And then they, women throw, are quick to throw darts at each other at the same time. Like, okay. this girl is getting dragged all over the internet. She's honest. She's telling the truth. And then she has more women coming for her. Like, which one is it? Yeah. Well, what about Tristan? Chloe said the same thing. She says, oh, you're a liar. And now she comes back and says, well, it actually is his fault. Like, the guy is standing there. He's the one cheating. But it, 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 the, the, the woman is the one catching all the fire. It is 651. That is your culture report. Why are we doing it, JR? We're doing it for the culture, my man.